Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new here, I upload beauty Bible and lifestyle videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. You guys, so for today's video, I have for you guys a bi-weekly shop my stash video and I also use the products in this video. This video idea is 100% from Leela's channel. Um, I will link her down below. She deserves all the credit. So if you kind of enjoy how this video works out, go check out her channel because she has a whole playlist already and I love it. And I have been telling her forever that I should do this because I don't go through my makeup enough and I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing it. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get into picking out makeup and putting on and putting on makeup. How many times can I say makeup in this video? Let's just get into it. <laughs> All right, so and I didn't pick the makeup out that I sh show you the makeup that I picked out for the last two weeks, but I will show you guys as I am putting it away. First thing is this Flower Beauty powder. I barely got it all dirty this morning because I was in a rush getting ready but it just looks like this it's kind of satin it reminds me a lot of the elf um halo glow setting powder I really really like this it really does a good job of smoothing and just not settling into lines or anything like that it actually keeps lines from forming so yeah we're gonna go ahead and put that back because I did use it for the last two weeks Okay, and while we're on the powders, I did have out the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and I have mine in light, I believe. Yeah, so I have mine in the shade light. Again, another really good powder. This is, I don't know if it's because my skin has changed, but this is a lot more glowy than I remember it, that it, than I remember it being. I don't know, maybe I'm applying it different or whatever the case is, but it's a lot more glowy than I remember it being, um, but still really pretty on the skin. All right, and then so next for powders, I did take out these two essence blushes. I use these about the same amount as I use the other blushes in here. I really, really like these blushes. I like them because you can build them up. They don't go on super pigmented automatically. Okay, and then the single bronzer that I took out was this e.l.f. Um, bronzer in Forever Sunkiss. Super good bronzer. Again, another one that I like because you can build it up. It's not super pigmented right off the bat. Okay, I also chose this um, Jaclyn Hill highlighter. Absolutely love this. It looks just so glossy and glowy on the skin all day long and doesn't fade, but we're gonna have to put her back for now. So let's go ahead and put back our cream product. So the two liquid blushes that I chose out were these Rare Beauty blushes, one in Joy and one in Love. And I used, I liked to mix them a lot, but I think the one I used the most was Joy, which is the lighter one. I don't know, there's just something about it so freaking pretty. Okay, and then for the cream bronzer, I was using this Milani Supercharged Cream Bronzer. I absolutely love this. It is so flippin' good, and I have the shade Bronze Voltage 160, but it was super good. We can go into the palettes that I chose out. So, powder face palettes I chose were these two Juvia's Place ones. I saw Leela, um, who this video is inspired by, um, I got this idea from her, but I she had started using these, and I was so upset because I wanted to use mine and they were packed. And so as soon as we moved in here, I was like, you know what? I'm putting these in my everyday makeup little basket and I just love them. They're super pigmented right off the bat though. You don't have to dip your brush in there much at all and you will get like the utmost pigmentation and they're so pretty, so blendable and they last all day long and they don't um, have any kickback whatsoever. Okay, and then for highlight, another highlighting palette I took out was the Soph X palette by Makeup Revolution. And I used these two the most out of everything in here. I used those two. So for primers, I took out the Mint Melt by e.l.f. and the Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. I really should have chose a pore one, but we made it work with both of these. My skin was just super glowy, like super glowy every single day. Okay, and then for foundation, the two I picked out were um, the Pretty Natural Foundation, which is actually almost out. And then I picked out the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow. A hydrator, super glowy, was not the right foundation for those primers. So I didn't use it a lot. I used it maybe twice, but it was really, really glowy to where I almost looked constantly sweaty. So we're going to try her another time with the different primers. But this is the one that I use every day. And every time I put this on, which was every day, but like in person, I would get so many compliments with that foundation on. For setting and primer space, I had chose out the Seattle London Everyday Vacay and my Mean Girls one. Super good combo. I used this to prime and this to set. And again, I just had 
all the glow and it just it was not good it was not good i should have chose different uh things but i chose everything glowy forgetting that my skin had changed so yeah we're gonna put these back so i actually ended up buying these and these are the elf lip tints really good i really like them but i feel like they fade they don't stain as some of my other lip tints do but they're not bad oh and i also have the shade um cinnamon cinnamon dreams and power mauve and then the lip liners I had picked out were this next one in Auburn and then this Milani one in Cinnamon Statement. Okay, the concealers I chose out, I really, really like both of these, but I kept using my Wet n Wild one just because it was more convenient on days I was in a rush. But this one is not bad either and has a ton of coverage. So yeah, both really good concealers. And in these, I have the shade, I have the shade Beige in the next one and light medium in the incognito one. Okay, I didn't use any of these eyeshadow palettes, so I think I'm gonna keep them in here. I did pull out this little cream one, so that way I could use it with the coral palette from Essence, but I did not use either one of these eyeshadow palettes, so we're gonna keep those in there. And I'm going to just swap out my sponges for some clean sponges because I'm lazy like that. And for brows, um, this brow pencil is actually should have been in my empties video, but I forgot to film it. But yeah, this is pretty much gone. So I'm actually going to put add this to next month's uh, empties. So we'll leave that to the side. And then I used up a Wonder Beauty one. So then I had to pull out my NYX one, which is not bad, but not the best. And then for mascara, um, again, not bad, but not the best. Um, I was in love with Better. So yeah, it's not terrible. And also this one flakes if you try to build it up too much and it got it got in my eye and ear them. And then for brow gel, we were using the Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Brow Gel. I actually really like this brow gel. And all right, you guys, so it's time to go through and pick out our makeup now. Okay, so time for foundation and primer and concealer because that is what is in the first drawer. And um, I used these, um, I really don't know. I think I'm gonna pick out the Rare Beauty just cause I don't want it to go bad. And I think I've had it for almost a year now. So we're gonna take her out so she doesn't go bad. And then for something a little lighter, I'm gonna take out the Tarte um, Maracuja. And then for concealer, let's use my Catrice True Skin and let's use the Tarte C Hydro Sealer Concealer. And then for primers, um, I'm actually going to pick two. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Essence Poreless Skin Blurring Putty Primer. And then I'm going to pick out the um, Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. And then because those two are so similar, I'm going to pick out a uh, one hydrating-ish primer. And I think I'll do this one from Milani because I've used this like once, so I'll try it out. Boom, next drawer. Okay, so we're gonna go with our Milani bronzer right here. And then we'll go with the Milk Makeup Liquid Bronzer um, for highlighter. You know, I never really use this Milani highlighter. So let's use this Milani highlighter in uh, Day Glow. And then for setting powder, I am actually going to use, I'm going to take out the All Nighter as well as Complex Culture. And then for cream blush, let's use the Rare Beauty one in Nearly Neutral. I really like these. I don't know why people don't like those. And then we'll also use, uh, you know what? So this one is kind of like a two for one. We'll take out this Kaja one and this is in Juicy Watermelon. This is a Juicy Watermelon blend. So for powder blush, I think I'm just gonna use, um, let me move some of this out the way. This ColourPop one and this is their Love Story Pressed Powder Blush. I'll take out this one that's a little bit more muted, which is always cheeky. Okay, and for contour, I'm going to take out my Alamar Cosmetics palette, as well as my um, BH Cosmetics Vanilla Cream. And now time for brows and mascara. Okay, so I'm actually going to pick out an eyeliner or two. So I am going to pick out these two. So this is the Lauren Conrad one and then the Essence one. 
And then for brows, I know it seems dramatic. I'm gonna pick out three, so I'm going to use my NYX, my Ulta brow definer, and then this Item Beauty brow definer. And then for mascara, let's use these two. Let's take out two, just so we get a chance to switch them up. Let's use the Bambi Eye, uh, the L'Oreal Bambi Eye, and then the L'Oreal Air Volume. And then for brow gel, I was really loving this, so we're gonna have to use that one. Um, we're not gonna do lashes. I haven't been doing lashes every day, and if I do want lashes, I'll just come in here and get them. Okay, so now we are doing um, lips and setting spray, and this will be it. All right, so for lips, Okay, first of all, for setting spray, I need to buy more because I don't have a very big selection, but we'll take this one out and we'll use this one. This prime and fine. That one's a glowy one, so I'll have to try to remember that. Um, for lip liner, okay, we'll go with this one. This one is in Nude Entrance. This Dominique Cosmetics one. It's also super nude. And crush and then for lips uh this one is always one of my faves i'm gonna pull out this um color pop ultra blotted lip in zippers chill and let's use this uh i forgot what this was called Sergio armani lip thing these are more lips and this one is in um gosh, i don't remember the name of it but we're gonna pick out this color and then we'll also pick out a little clear gloss and the one I'm going to go with is this Girlactic Rose Oil Lip Gloss. And I think that that is it, you guys. So I just got to put my little, finish getting my little basket together. This is what it looks like so far. So, all right, you guys. So, yeah, those are the, these are all the little sponges I had clean. So this is what we were going with. And that is everything that I picked out, you guys. And I can't wait to use it with you guys on camera. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into applying this makeup. So obviously we're gonna start with primers. And for today, I'll use the Milani SPF and the Essence Primer Putty. Okay, I have to do my brows real quick, but now we're gonna go ahead and use the NYX Bear With Me as a primer spray. I'm just getting off that time of the month, so I'm still kind of breaking out, and it's always just on this side of my face, which is weird. Okay, so we're gonna start off with brows, and I think... Should we do one on each side? Let's do one on each side. So we'll use the Ulta one on our right eye. Here's one thing I love about these. I do not, they are not, <laughs> can't get my words out. You can get your brows done in no time. <laughs> my birthday's tomorrow. Today's the 15th of February. And my birthday's tomorrow. And I'm excited. I don't know what this bald section. I was supposed, <laughs> I was supposed to use one brow pencil on each eye. Oops. <laughs> That's my bad, my bad. That's that mom brain, y'all. Okay, and so to clean up our brows, I think the one I'm gonna use is the Catrice Concealer. And then we'll just use that to clean up our brows. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with the same concealer just to get a little, I'm glad that wasn't on my shirt, just to get a little primer on our lids. And if you follow me on TikTok and you've been like, dang, her makeup looks good. These are the products I've been using, are the products from this, uh, little shop my stash all right and now we'll go in with this little eyeshadow palette um well first we're gonna use our wet and wild cream eyeshadow wow and we're just gonna set this all down okay so now that we got that let's go ahead and get a crease brush so i'll go in with this one i was gonna listen to podcasts but i haven't done my read and write the word for the day and i like to fill up with jesus before i fill up on true crime oh so after i film that's what i'll do Wow, this footage is importing. I think I'm going to use this gold one today and just put that on the lid. I love it because it's like so like simple. And now I did pick out these two liquid liners, but the one I really loved the most was the Lauren, <laughs> was the Lauren Conrad one. So we'll do a little wing with this. 
okay that's as even as they're gonna get i'm gonna go ahead and grab me a pair of lashes because my lashes ain't all that to over throw this wing but we'll keep it simple we'll put on our um i know they're in this one but these are actually i think i'm actually gonna use my kiss number 11s which are the ones at the top so but the mascara that i I don't know because I felt the same exact way about both of these mascaras throughout the last couple weeks and the way I feel about them is that they're kind of sticky they don't flake or anything like that but I have mascaras that do more for my lashes but I'll finish using them they're not terrible they're just not as va va voom as I would like so for today we'll use the LA the LA girl the l'oreal mega air volume on the top and then we'll use the bomb the, the bambi on the bottom i don't know if you guys can tell so my eyelashes don't look terrible they're just not enough if that makes sense okay so these are actually ruffle these are number 11 and these are my salon perfect 614s um yeah we're gonna go for the 11s from kiss Okay, we're gonna let that dry a little bit because that's one thing I have learned with the Kiss Lash Glue is you have to let it dry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just use the, we'll, we'll use this one. I only used this one once and I wasn't obsessed with the coverage. So I ended up adding some of the Rare Beauty one. And yes, it looks like I'm putting a lot, but there's not a ton of coverage with this. So this is not like my LA Girl or my Pretty Fresh, this is literally a tinted what is it called tinted hydrator this is all it gonna give you is a tint it's not gonna cover up very much i think i squeezed out a little too much y'all i think i definitely put a little too much being dramatic just just brush real quick i just mm, i'm not the fan of that i'm glad i got it on sale because once it actually comes down to the nitty gritty of blending it out it's like what was all that work for like i don't see like it made a big difference yeah so i don't know i might pass that on because it's just to someone who has a little bit more skin and no freckles because i feel like i just have too much for this that makes sense super glowy i will give it that so you might like this if you don't have like freckles and discoloration like i do or breakouts but it's not the best for me so we're gonna go ahead and use the catrice concealer just for a little more coverage i would use the tarte one but coverage Okay, so for under our eyes, we're going to use the Complex Culture Powder. I've learned I don't like the Urban Decay one underneath my eyes. That's okay. But for under our eyes, we're going to use Complex Culture. So for all over the face, we are going to set it down with um, the Urban Decay All Nighter. This, I'll give this foundation that, is that it definitely looks better when it's set. It doesn't look, I don't know. I just think it looks so much better set but again for me it's the coverage i thought it would have been like my other tinted products that i've tried but nah okay so the next step that i've been doing in my makeup is literally just taking the mascara going directly in oh god i almost forgot all about these lashes till i just looked down okay popping on the lashes so crazy how over time like we just changed because there was a point in time where like I had to have on lashes if I had on any type of makeup and now it's like I feel like lashes just a little bit too much yeah I feel like I look weird I have not seen myself with lashes in such a long time okay so for bronzer yes I, oh wait I almost forgot my mascara because I did lashes but yeah we do the mascara next on our lower lash line now for bronzer and my little twisty thing on this milk makeup one is like out of there so I just been sticking my brush in there First, I'll tap to just to make sure the powder and everything is good and it's not going to disturb anything or be patchy. And then once I see that it's applying good, then I'll rub it in. Next, we'll use the Kaja blush. I've learned that I like the Kaja one better than the Rare Beauty one over powder. And I think we'll use the one on the bottom. This is the pink one. For bronzer, we'll use the Alamod Cosmetics one. I loved the um, Milani one during these last two weeks. It was like the only one that I would use. I had to remind myself that I picked this one out. But yeah, the Milani one, it's probably one of my fave all-time bronzers. And then this one was probably, no, this one was probably my least used blush that I picked out, the e.l.f. one. So we'll use that one today too. 
So now I know I don't need to really pick out that many blushes. Just like maybe two or a blush palette. And that's it. I don't need to be picking out that many blushes because it was just a lot. But I did only pick out one highlighter. And I wish I would have picked out more than one highlighter. I do wish that. So we're going to use the Milani one. And then where this brow pin has been coming in handy is at the end of my makeup. You can kind of see like this brow gets a little bit like some bald spots. And I'll just go back in and fill in any bald spots. Okay, so that was a little bit intense right there. So take a little spoolie and that comes right out. And that's that, y'all, with the brows. Brows are done. We'll set those really quick. And then for lips... I used all my lippies pretty equally. This was probably, I just didn't use this lip liner the most, the Dominique Cosmetics one, so we'll use that one today. And then we're just gonna do a gloss today because we already got on these lashes. And I'm not used to seeing myself like this anymore. I must be because I'm about to be 29. <laughs> all right, so that's it. We're going to set now with the Catrice one. Honestly, I like this hair with the lashes. I feel like this lashes adds, <laughs> gives back to all the hair I chopped off. <laughs> I miss my long hair, kind of. The way I have found that I like this hair is literally like just fluffing it. Like the fluffier, the better this hair, the short hair looks. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this makeup look with these products that we shot my stash with. I can't wait for it again in two weeks. Again, I want to thank Leela for all the inspiration behind this video. I have been telling her and commenting on her bi-weekly shot my stashes for like ever telling her like, I need to do that. I need to do that. Well, Leela, I'm finally doing it. Thank you for all the inspiration, girl. You deserve all the credit for this video idea. And so, yeah, but if you enjoyed mine, go check out Leela's because she has like an entire playlist already of these. So my playlist is barely going to get started. But yeah, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.